Alrighty guys, welcome back to the vlog. Kevin Moran's here. We are in Nashville for round 14 of Supercross. Uh, we got more rain. So they were scheduled with no rain. They uncovered the track, watered it yesterday, and they got rain last night. So they've already canceled free practice, maybe another wet one. So we're going out there to check out the track and get the day started. <laughs> that looks terrible. That looks awful. This doesn't look bad. It's gonna be ruddy though. It's soft. It's, uh, that's not ideal. This is actually worse than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like this, especially now, is definitely gonna be just inside on off. Triple up on. Yeah, on, and then yeah, then on off. Dude, this is terrible. How do we get to there? All right, so you go across the start. Okay, and then you just drain over this way. A oh, flat corner. 180, yeah, 180 left. Dude, these things are steep. Bitches are big. Dude, they are. They are peaky. That's dude, what I'm saying, dude. Your only option here is to go try to go wide when it gets better and go 3-3, three, three, or you're literally just 2 and all the way through it. Because these things are steep and transitions are tight. But they're big, though, too. Like, if you can get over, maybe go 2-3-1. But this 3-in is going to be non-existent for a bit until the night. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> Seems right on uh, on par for this season. I don't think he's even uh, played in the mud before like That's this. Kevin. Yeah. Oh, Kevin. I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. absolutely. We uh, caught up your with your name dad. Is? Joey. Joey. Where, where are we from, Joey? Australia. Australia. But where do we live? Dubai. Oh, you guys are all from all around. Yeah, he was born in Malaysia too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But uh, what's your advice for Joey in this section? Uh, keep her on two wheels. The biggest thing is you're going to – when do you guys practice? 1 p.m. So right oh, through. oh my gosh. Okay, well, so the 1 p.m. is going to be a little bit squirrely probably, but just keeping your momentum up. Yeah. Keep your feet on the pegs. Try to balance with it. And, I mean, you're just going to be rolling all these, so just trying to stay in the lines because they're probably going to be a little bit rutted by the time you guys get out yeah. there. So standing all the way through? If you can. Nice, yeah. It's a thumbs down. Hey, but we're coming to the sand. We just love the sand, you know what I mean? Can't just can't get rid of it. I think that would be doable if it was cleaner. I think two over small to small triple out. Is that I think it's only a double out at that point. Oh no, you would triple out. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Because then you're not jumping off that big. Yeah. The small that's a lot of air time. Yeah. And then that's a lot of air yeah. time. I think that would be doable. Yeah. I think over or double over triple triple. That but that gets pretty rutted. It's just right on par. Yeah, dude. It's not bad, though. No. I mean, I, the sun helps. It's going to not be good in qualifying. First, Qual first by quality practice, two, maybe. Yeah. Night yeah. show, it'll be fine. But just getting through qualifying is going to be hairy. Yeah. yeah. Especially with some of the line choices. Because like that over there, if you can get the, the grip to go outside and go th roll 3-3, three, three, like you're going to want to do that. But are you going to get the traction in qualifying? Maybe not. No. Yeah. No. How, how is it? Is it all looked like this? No. Like, it's, yeah. This is the worst part. Though. Yeah, honestly, the start is the worst part. Okay. After the triple, there's standing water. Through, I mean, just give it. I wish we had free practice. If we had free practice, break right. it in a little bit more, I yeah. think it'd be better. Yeah. Yeah. Not having free practice is going to get squirrely because you got to go right away. You're ready to start racing without being in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we That'd had be it. the muddiest season. Oh, 100%. Here. Or all, like, of Supercross. Well, I mean, we had a chance at a great track here today. They had it covered. They uncovered it last night and then watered it. No, there was no chance of rain, apparently. And it rained quite a bit, clearly. All right, guys. It is what it is. Everybody's got to deal with it. Let's get the day started. Get ready for quality one. Ah, sorry. Is it on there? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, there it is. The Rodman family. Thank you guys. Seriously. No problem. Man. You guys have been a part of it for a long time, so thank you. Hey, how's it going, my man? How's it going? How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're good. Doing good. Sean? Nice to meet you. I'm Brian. Hey, you're the nice man. You. Yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in. Yeah, my pleasure. I appreciate it. How's today going for you? Uh, not, not great. Not that bad, though. Uh, they just they uncovered the track. So it wasn't supposed to rain last night, and it did rain. Oh, these things, I've had these before. <laughs> these are power balls. She makes them. Oh, heck yeah. They're all. These are all really good. Yep. All organic. Yeah. 
Kev always likes food. So this is where Kevin changes and uh, we uh, get out of the noise and have right. So as you can hear, we got a lot of music in the background. So it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle for the vlog today, but we're heading up for not free practice, we're heading up for play one. doing this video in here just because it's so loud with the music outside however we are taking a shot in the dark here we completely swapped forks so we came off after first qualifying session I'm just really struggling I continue to really struggle uh, with the front end just getting it to turn and doing what I want to do uh, we had like two and a half inches of travel that was not being used on the forks therefore it's too stiff uh, at least that's our goal so we did have an air fork set up that we literally had and brought to this race that we plan on testing this coming week However, we're taking a shot in the dark just because we're struggling so much. We're going to try this Air Forks in Quali 2, and hopefully it allows me to turn and be a little bit more aggressive. Finished up uh, quality two. Uh, the forks were better. I was actually able to move around a little bit. Obviously, just still struggled. Uh, got the jump line through the whoops. I just didn't get it every lap, and that's what I needed. So, uh, on one of the fast laps, I had a little cross rut situation right after the mechanics area, and almost went off the track. Or I did go off the track, almost went down, but it pulled something in my lower back. So, 
it is uh, feeling it right now, but um, struggles continue straight up. So we're gonna keep trying. Uh, we gotta get better. So there's no really excuses here. Just gotta get better with myself and uh, get more comfortable on the bike. So we'll see where we end up and hopefully we're in the night show. All right, so we got our bike brand in here, Fast Farms. Hey, come on in. So you wanna just explain to the people a little bit about what that is. Like where are you guys located and what yeah, what do you guys do? So we're about an hour south of Hour south here from Nashville, we're down in Altamont, Tennessee. We got a motocross track down there. Uh, we offer memberships. You can ride anytime you want to. Come down there, really work on your skills. And uh, that's sweet. Real good how, track. How do people, people find you? Me? Fastfarmsmx.com. Mxpark.com. What do you guys? Do you guys have an Instagram? Uh, yeah, at fastfarmsmx and fastfarms in Max Park on Facebook. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Lefty, eh? Here, hold on, I got a sticker for you. There you go, man. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Oh, he already knows how it works. He knows the program. Yeah, yeah there you go. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> hey, put it there, bud. Thank you. Drink lightning rod, my throttle. to head up for the night show obviously much closer than we would have liked however we're in that's all that matters big shout out to st jude they're obviously sponsoring this race in partnership with supercross so we do have the full st jude helmet right here we're going to be signing this and putting it up for auction to go back to the kids after this just look down in the description for the link or check out the auction that they have going on and go bid on this bad boy so through qualifying we did change the forks completely over like i said we think that that did help uh however Within that second qualifying session, uh, I don't know what I did. I didn't go down, but I had a little goofy situation with my back end, and it kind of strained something on my back. So usually I can put full hands on the ground. However, that's about all I got right there. So pulled something in my lower left back. I don't really know what it is. I had Navarro work on me quite a bit, but it didn't loosen up, didn't do much. So uh, we got some Tordol in us, and we're getting ready to go racing. So heading up for 450 Heat 1. race uh just struggling with my back to be really honest so no excuses man not good enough uh we'll just keep working simple as that so uh yeah we ended up like 14th not bad for a heat race but not great <laughs> we need to be in top nine so we'll get ready to go uh hopefully get a little bit better gate pick get a good jump and uh roll it in the lcq yeah. all right game time headed up for the lcq
straight up, just not good enough. Um, not getting too down on it, you know? We got work to do, straight up. So we've gotta be better than that. I'm not gonna sit here and pout, and make excuses, straight up, it's on me. Uh, gotta get comfortable on the bike. And, uh, you know, had that little back thing, it started to feel better throughout the LCQ, which I was happy about, but just time to step up. So we'll get back to work. Uh, just wanna give a big shout out to everybody who keeps coming by, watching these vlogs, obviously subscribing, hitting that like button, does help a lot. Uh, and people come by, sign on the bike, and donate to the program. So really do appreciate it. Love how we continue to have you know helmet wraps and bike branding. People just wanting to support the program. Uh, Jordan's out here kicking butt. He's working his tail off. So it's time for me to step it up and make it worth his time. So straight up, appreciate you guys watching. See you guys in the next video. It's been another Kevin Morant's vlog. Be sure to subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next video. Let's be fine, let's be fine, let's be fine.